Well, how y'all are this afternoon? This is your old buddy George Jones over here at the Bergen Gun Range with my next installment on... Hey, I got this old used gun. The old used gun I got today is Sweat Bee. Sweat Bee right there. Let's see, let's drop it back. The 422 Smith & Wesson semi-automatic 22 pistol. Now, the 422 came out in the mid-1980s. And it was basically the same action as the old, uh, as the old uh, Smith and Wesson Escort that they made in the '60s and the early '70s. It's almost the very same action, very same design concept. What they've done is they've taken and made it longer this way, and made it longer this way, to where it'll hold a 10 or 12 round magazine. Both of them were available. Uh, it works. Pretty good. It's got a safety over on the side like a 1911. Got it pointed at my assistant director right there. <laughs> okay. Uh, safety is here where it ought to be. Uh, it has a very pronounced front sight, very pronounced rear sight. The rear sight, I, this looks like to me it was designed to be a kid gun because it looks like it's designed to be a firearm for a beginning shooter. Uh, it's got good grip space on it. The magazine catch as an adult shooter concerns me a little bit because it's right up here on the front. It's where the magazine catch is. And, of course, it engages on that cut on the front of the magazine. So if you get a real good grip on this thing, you might drop your magazine out of it. It is an under-barrel design. So the op rod mechanism is all up in here and the barrel is below on the frame. Which doesn't seem to affect its accuracy very much at all. And these guns work. I like this gun. Uh, you know, everybody knows me, knows I'm a big fan of the Ruger Standard Model and the Mark II. But if I wasn't shooting a Mark II all the time, I'd have one of these. This would be... Alright! Let's try it for the old accuracy and see how it actually functions and shoots. Uh, I've got a shoot and see up down there. Or an easy to see target, which I think they're out of print. I haven't seen those for sale. I went on Target Barn trying to look for them and couldn't find any. Alright, let's hunker right on down here where you can actually see the gun working. Got a nice finger rest on the front of the trigger guard. It's a pretty well designed gun. I'm no big fan of Smith & Wesson automatic pistols. Everybody knows me knows that, but I like these a lot. All right, let's see what we can do here. Throw that gun off safe. See if we can get them all off, off to the left. Got 10 in the lock back. Finger that old magazine out there, stick another one in there. Looks like it's got about seven in it. Go back over here, drop slide. Right back over here now. Ooh, that was a lot of fun. Let's try another one. Seconds, please. Thurs, maybe. This is a lot of this. These are a fun gun to shoot. All righty then. Drop that magazine out. Show clear and safe. Uh, this is the 4-inch in black anodized. Uh, except for the slide, the entire gun is made out of uh, cast and milled aluminum. They made this gun in a 6-inch barrel version. They also made it in a bright, oh, I don't know, not polished, but bead blasted aluminum finish with a nickel upper. And they also made it in the bead blast uh, aluminum finish with the blue slide. Uh, they had the version with the fully adjustable sights and the more elegant looking front sight. 
Uh, let's go down there and look at our tactical accuracy or our acatacracy. Let's go down here. And these guns shoot pretty good. Well, they shoot pretty good if you don't have a left puller like me. Uh, my point of aim was here. A pretty good group. I mean, they're all in there. Nice beer can rolling accuracy. Uh, shoots good and it's fun to shoot. Now, this gun has been out of production now for about 20 years. Uh, funny thing is, you still see a lot of them around. This guy's been out of production for 20 years, and you don't see a whole lot of them in the used market. And when you do see them, they're in the $325, $350 range. And uh, my personal opinion is that a uh, good solid 22 semi-automatic pistol, uh, very, very reliable. Uh, shoots stingers really good, shoots velocitors really good. Uh, we were shooting uh, Thunderbolts, I think. Uh, shoots them real good, shoots the expensive ammunition good, shoots the cheap ammunition good. Uh, so, is it a defensive gun? Well, there's no thug out there looking forward to getting shot five or ten times with a 22 caliber pistol. I'll give you that. So, is it my choice as a defensive gun? No. Uh, is it serviceable as a home defense firearm? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, you can plug a guy two or three times if you had to and wait for the effect and then plug him two or three more times and still have some ammo left. You know, uh, not my first choice. My first choice is a 1911 or an L frame 357. But uh, if this is the gun you've got, it's the gun that'll serve you, and it will serve you. It's solid, reliable, it's flat, it doesn't weigh a whole lot. Uh, you could carry this gun every day if you wanted to. If you like a 22 caliber pistol as a, as a service pistol, this will make a good one. Well, all right then, that's about the size of it for this installment of, hey, I got this old used gun. Like, take, share, if I, commentate, and subscribe. Leave me an old dollar in the Patreon bucket if you want to, and if you don't, I'll keep right on finding old guns and putting them up for you. All right, then. We'll see y'all. Turn that camera off like an idiot thing.